What's good guys, League Auto Repair here. Okay, y'all see what I'm working on. This uh, nice 2007 Acura TL uh, Type S or Type R, whatever type is the type. So um, I actually like this car, it's a good car. I think it's one of the best TLs they made. Um, came with the uh, 3.5, uh, it's a real torquey um, engine for V6. So um, this car, um, complaint on this one was that the uh, check engine light is on. And so I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm just booting up my um, scan tool, but uh, let me go ahead and fire the engine so you can see that the light is on. Okay, you see it idling. And then uh, that light right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my scan tool and I wanna um, pull the code. So I'm gonna go into the, uh, the PGM. PCM. Okay. And I'm gonna read the fall code. Wow. Okay. Now, mind you, um, I'm doing this like you know, like freestyling, so it wasn't like planned or scripted or anything. So I'm just walking through, you know, through this two steps and you know the way that you know I would figure things out. So. Um, what you're looking at right here, um, all these codes right here, it looks like uh, six codes. So um, you got the first one, EVAP system purge flow malfunction. The second one, low purge flow detected. And then you have a malfunction in the circuit. And then there's another code. Uh, this is uh, global and this is manufacturers. These codes at the bottom are see, one, two, three. Those are temporary codes. Those are codes that must have failed on this first trip and these must have failed on a second so it must have just um, stored it so yeah this was pending and this was actually stored so really it's uh, these three codes right here so most likely it all comes down to like a problem and you know with uh, one thing setting off all three or it's just it's its way of uh, indicating you know something is definitely up with this circuit but I'm not sure what it is so let me throw the three different codes for it since I'm dealing with, uh, you know, EVAP, uh, excuse me, I have to close the sunroof. Um, since I'm dealing with uh, the EVAP purge control solenoid, I want to go into the uh, the data for it and let me manually select and I'm going to find the, uh, the EVAP purge. Looks like it could be canister vent solenoid and uh, that's like what the CVS mean and then you have the evap duty cycle so let me click on that oh I got these uh, the the field the FTP fuel tank pressure sensor um, don't worry about that right now cuz tell you what that means in a second but um, right now evap the duty cycle for it okay the duty cycle um, all that means is that the um, post width modulated so it's going to be on and off so you'll see like a square wave so it should go up over when it's off it'll go back down when it's on to come up be on for a certain amount of time then it'll come back down so um, yeah on and off duty cycle that's controlled by the computer uh, for this car is con the, the control side of it is controlled by the, 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 the computer so the computer just pretty much grounds the uh, the solenoid on and off. So it'll be like a rapid, fast clicking or slow clicking or whatever. You should hear it outside, um, you know, under the hood. You said when it's working, you'll hear like clicking or feel it more so. But uh, let me, I want to sweep the gas. I want to see if I can get the, uh, you know, the computer to pretty much start a, the, a duty cycle. Okay, so I'm getting nothing there. Now, normally at idle, this sensor works continuously. You know, it's never something that you need to consistently put a load on it all the time. 
this evap system is meant to prevent this car from um you know increasing emissions so um i want to pop the hood and i'm going to locate the uh the purge control solenoid valve and i'm just going to visually inspect it and i'm going to test it out i want to test the power power side of it i want to test the control side of it the, the side that the computer controls so uh yeah you guys leave the engine running it's optional you don't have to um just pop this cover off and um there's another cover right here i took it off but yeah yeah your purge control solenoid valve is right here so um I'm going to disconnect this sensor and I want to see if anything picks up on the uh, on my graph right here. Now I'm going to plug it back up again. Still get nothing okay so since I can't get any type of you know input you know on my scan tool um, I'm going directly to the connector and I'm going to test for power and ground so disconnect the uh, connector and um, these two pins right here I don't have a wiring diagram for this circuit um, I should have gotten one but it's fine because this is a two wire so it only works off of power and ground and I already checked the schematic, so there's nothing um, coming from the PCM back to the PCM. It's just power from the fuse, and then the computer controls this side based off of calculations off of other sensors. That's where it gets its duty cycle from. So, um, I want to get up in there. I just want to see which one is battery voltage. Because if I don't get battery voltage, then you know, that could be the reason why the, uh, the solenoid no it's not working and probably get got a short somewhere open or whatever what's this Just hold on I'm trying to get this in I'm working with one hand so bear with me guys okay so looks like on this left side of the connector facing me I got battery voltage so this um, black and yellow wire right here is my um, source voltage for, for coming from the battery and then this red one's got to be since it's the only one apparently this is the ground side of it coming from the uh, PCM so um, since you no know, I got battery voltage excuse me I had to belch um, um, I want to test the um the solenoid myself. I want to see if I can get it to work. And you know, once I apply my power and ground, I should be able to hear it like click, or um, I should feel something in the uh, the sensor. So uh, I've been trying to power up this uh, solenoid. I'm not getting any um, any type of luck. Um, as you can see, those two pins right there. Um, one gets power. Um, this will, as far as the connector go, um, the left one right here, so that would be this side right there from that angle, that gets the power, this uh, black and yellow wire, and the, uh, the red one, and the red and yellow wire, it's, um, was the ground coming from the computer. So I had it hooked up right to my power probe and as I tried to, you know, turn it on, it does absolutely nothing and it, it wasn't even giving me a, um, no type of indication that there was continuity, like a, you know, connection from one end in, in to another. So I'm going to hook up my ground again and, um, actually hook it up over here and then I want to. I'm gonna apply power to it and you're not gonna hear anything but this is how it will work when you're testing for it so apply power but at this point when you touch everything um, make sure this lead doesn't touch this alligator clip make sure it touches the pin correctly um, just like that and um, 
you should have already had like you know a negative reading or you know just indication of continuity on this power probe so you know um but we don't but it, just go ahead and hit um apply power anyway just to see now i don't hear the solenoid clicking i don't feel it um you know moving or anything so um this right here it just means that there's an open inside of this solenoid so it's just a faulty solenoid it needs to get replaced but you can still before you do that just confirm um you're getting um you know your battery voltage like i already did but just just check the uh, control side of it now i'm not worrying about duty cycle um on a computer so i'm going to start the car and i want to check it with my um you know my power probe aka test light and the control side i should in the display um, this negative part right here should flash on and off so that's an open and closed connection coming from the uh you know the computer the driver for it so i got the connector removed i'm gonna check it again i'm gonna um check for my source voltage and i want to check the ground so battery voltage and this is the control side of it coming from the computer so that fluctuation right there that's his on and off commands it's not picking it up on this uh the, the duty cycle for this uh maybe it's my scan tool but i mean who cares i know how to diagnose this anyway so um well, I don't think it's a scan tool. I think it's just this year didn't give me enough uh, information as um, far as inputs go. So, and this is a two-wire sensor. So, um, you saw that power. You saw the command side of it. It's on and off. So, I want to plug it back up and um, kind of pierce this wire a little bit because this is sharp, so it can do that. So, the control side of it gonna see what that does what the hell is going on huh? okay it's a it's a malfunction it's a short see how it's supposed to open and close and when I had the connector removed now it's just stuck it's not doing anything so the computer that's how the computer senses the fault because it's, it's, it's sending a com sending a signal out for the computer to do I mean for the SLNO to do what it's supposed to do but it's not so, uh, battery voltage. So, and I want to disconnect it one more time because I want to show you guys. And get it on the um, ground side. This car is so hot. It's fucking cooling fan on. And uh, let's see. Come on, bitch. Man, see what that's doing? And then when I plug it up, it just stops. See? All right, so um, it's nothing else for me to look at. Um, so pretty much it needs a purge control valve. Uh, the, the computer side of it works, and the uh, add source voltage. That's how a two wire sensor normally works. So I'm pretty much done this diag. This car. <sighs> Excuse me, had to burp again. Wow, what's going on today? Um, this car is easy to do. Um, guys, a lot of these cars, when you get closed like this, you, the die could be a different, not a lot different. It'd be somewhat, somewhat similar, but it'll be different. Um, your parameters going to be different. Your steps are going to be different. How you approach things, 
but um, it's a matter of you getting the right correct service information and you know you going through the uh, flow chart um, I'm experienced I've worked on several cars with this type of code you know the P04 P0443 uh, control circuit malfunction for the purge control valve I worked on plenty of cars like that in fact I have another video with the 2010 Malibu they had the same code and it came down to be the uh, connector and the uh, solenoid for it so most cars are like that you know you could end up replacing the connector and solenoid but you know I applied power and ground to the solenoid the solenoid didn't work so like I said there's nothing else for me to look for I'm done and um, if you watch this if you're confused just play back everything I may talk too fast I may skip through steps but like I said I've experienced with you know things like this so I kind of well not kind of I do know what to look for so um that's that guys so thanks for watching guys um if you like this video if you thought it was helpful give me a thumbs up if um you just like my videos overall don't be afraid to subscribe guys